The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for the morning of July 25th, 2021. Shower and thunderstorm chances will remain a little high for today through Tuesday before those odds begin to drop for the latter half of the week. Here's what I have for you in today's video. We are starting off this morning with mainly clear skies across central Alabama, but down at the surface we do have some areas of fog that is limiting visibility somewhat, but not bad enough for any advisories to be issued. Temperatures across the area as of the 5 a.m. roundup were in the lower to mid-70s. Birmingham, Calera, and Tuscaloosa were all tied as the warm spots at 76 degrees. Gadsden, Haleyville, and Talladega were all tied as the cool spots at 72 degrees. Now diving into the 06Z run of the GFS starting off with today, valid at 4 p.m. It's definitely getting close to the dog days of summer as we're going to see hot and hazy conditions with the standard shot of scattered showers and storms during the main heating of the day, which is the late morning through the early evening hours. Today will be no different as skies will be partly to mostly sunny with a near 50% chance of mainly afternoon showers and storms. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 80s to the mid 90s across the area. Monday and Tuesday look to be the wettest days of the week, but not everyone will get rain on those days. Monday will feature partly sunny skies with a 50% chance of showers and storms mainly during the afternoon to early evening hours. Tuesday's rain chances will be higher as scattered to numerous showers and storms will be likely during the main heating of the day. Rain chances start to dwindle back down to around 40% on Wednesday as skies will be mostly sunny. An isolated shower or two will be possible on Thursday and again on Friday as skies will be mostly sunny on both days. Highs throughout the week will range from the upper 80s to the mid 90s across central Alabama on each day. Heat index values will exceed 100 degrees in some spots, so please be careful if having to work or spend time outdoors. Rain chances look to pick back up a little for next weekend as scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible during the afternoons. Saturday's chances will be around 30 to 40 percent, while increasing to around 50 percent for Sunday. Low to mid 90s can still be expected for highs, but a few locations may cross over into the upper 90s, especially on Saturday. Now taking a look at the tropics, as of 1 a.m. this morning, Invest 90L was located about 160 miles east of Daytona Beach, Florida, and continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms mainly east through south of the center. Environmental conditions are expected to remain marginally conducive for additional development, and a tropical depression could still form later today or early Monday, while the low moves generally westward at 5 to 10 miles per hour toward the east coast of Florida. An Air Force Reserve Reconnaissance aircraft is scheduled to investigate the low this afternoon if necessary. Interest in Florida should continue to monitor the progress of this system. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. With James and Bill going on vacation, I'll have the video out each morning through next Sunday. Have a great day, and remember, each day is a gift. Godspeed.